back in there. Right, <laughs> hey, stop. Here we are, folks. Asshole. This is what I'll be getting with. We've arrived in Didham. Oh, yeah, we And how... This is actually our Tinkham part of Didham. But we arrived in Didham today, and how do we know this is my town, my new town? And maybe we're going to move here? Because they made a statue for me arriving. Check this out. There you go. Can you see me well? Yeah. Poseidon. That's me with a bit of a haircut. Just before I grew my hair, I started eating lots of bread and getting fat. Yeah? You didn't have abs. Poseidon. I didn't have abs in that. Go on, tell them all, all the reasons why that's not me. Because you always get shit from supermarkets. Like shitty cheek off there for like two lira and eat that. And blames on the food that I get and I don't eat. Yeah. Because he's an asshole. This is how I've got fat, because I've had very little money over the past couple of years and I've been living off bread and then he doesn't eat so much. He goes to his mother's to eat because there's more than just bread there. So the food I buy, I've got to eat because I don't like being wasting food. I'm Scottish, don't like wasting food. So that's how I've got fat. It should be like this guy here. Yeah? That's everything. That's what I should need to be doing, to getting some uh, extra things. Is that not anything? Nah. Because yeah, your routine's better, yeah? Push up. <laughs> it was a kind of cheating one, wasn't it? Well, it's At least it's a cheating. start, yeah? So here's Didham anyway, with Poseidon. Yeah? I'll kill Poseidon. It's all in different languages, actually. Let's take a look. Where's English, ah? It's a god of the sea. Anyway. We'll not go into that. So basically, today we're down the beachfront and uh, Ergen, the owner of Top Cafe Restaurant, he says, uh, there you go, Ellis. He said they call him Ennis, yeah? Uh, yeah? I don't understand that. Why do they call you Ennis? It's a Turkish name, but it sounds like my name. It's ridiculous. Right? Anyway, so he says, go and have a shot of the electric moped. He's got three wheel electric moped and there's a seat in the back. So I have a shot and he says, drive along the end here and come back. So all the way along, all the way along the street, and all the way along there, I was pretty nervous in the back. I said, like, slow down, it was probably a bad backseat driver, to be honest with you. Shit, don't do this, don't do that. But it's the first time he's ever been in control of anything outside of the Dodgems, you know? So, no, it's not. What else have you been in control of? Yeah, electric bike. Have you? My friend's one. Oh, I didn't know about that. <laughs> a two-wheel one? Yeah. You've been on a two-wheel electric yeah, bike? Yeah, it's way better than that. Oh my god. Things you don't know about well, your children, actually eh? turns and the brakes work. So anyway, a there was a bit here and somebody was coming, I said slow down and he never sl slowed down well, if I do slow and there was down, a gap stops. to go through to the left and he never done it and battered into a car and then once he hit the car he decided not to move again to accelerate again and to go into the car further. What are you doing? Your framing's abysmal. So anyway, put your hands through the thing. So that's what he done, we had an accident, yeah, luckily the car wasn't damaged and it was dead close to being back to the restaurant and there you could see by my face something had happened and I was like, uh, aye, we had a wee accident there but thankfully your bike's alright and the car's not got any damage but please uh, don't encourage my son to take control of a vehicle ever again, <laughs> yeah? At least not until I'm dead and I can relax, you know? But anyway, have a look at the sunset, it's a nice sunset, yeah? This is the welcome to Diddle and we'll show you the restaurant and that later on. Okay, here we are in the Top Kappa restaurant. How's it going so far, Ellis? Are you happy with the venue and the people you're meeting? This is all he does, this is all I get from him these days. Just tapping his phone, totally disrespectful. That's Ergen's wife over there. That's where they make the PDs, it's a big oven. So Ergen's wife, what's her name, Ellis, can you remember? I didn't even get in the first place. It's not fair hat, because that's it's, a guy's... I think it's for the geo. Anyway, we'll have to ask again. Not very good with names. So he, she basically is talking to him, and he's... Do how you were doing? Yeah? He's basically staring at his phone while he's talking to somebody. That's that's what you get these days. He's talk, he talks and talk, he talks to somebody when he's on the phone. You know what I mean? It drives me crazy. Alright, so we're back on the video chill. So basically, the boy now is living in heavy metal world. Look, he pretends he's not listening, but he really is. So we got interrupted there with the nice Scottish ladies. Had to be chat with them, they're gone now. And uh, they're coming back on Saturday to see the show. 
at Top Cafe Restaurant. So I said this is the outside of it. And we're in Didham. Uh, that's Ergen down there. Oh. And that's all the boys hanging out there. So there we go, top cap of restaurant, we've arrived, the heavy squad, let's hope the gig goes well now, that's the main thing. So here we are walking along the street in the morning, the famous street where Ellis had his crash, hmm. yeah, apparently it wasn't his fault they drove into the car, so it was parked stationary and there was a big gap, yeah, yeah? no it was the guy's fault for being on the road. So then the car took the hit for that one. Luckily there's no damage done to the car or the bike and we skedaddled out of there pretty quick, eh? Mm. <laughs> there you go, it's a nice beach, nobody's really in the sea, there's a few people. 11 o'clock in Didham, we're heading towards Top Cafe restaurant for breakfast. C'est la vie. Okay folks. Here we are, it's the time for the traditional first swim of the year video. It's actually quite late this year. Normally I go for a swim about March in Antalya. But we've come to Didham and we're at the beach, sandy beach. So we've got no excuse basically, it's time to get the water. The sea is, my well, feet are going used to it now, but it's going to be cold through the rest of my body in, but still, we've got to do it. I'm going to try not to make too big a splash and empty the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Just before my son says it, because I'm getting constant abuse about the size of my belly. Do you think it's that big? Yeah? He's shown off his abs, he thinks he's got abs. Well, it's some he's stomach. He's got insect abs. Well, it's better than yours, isn't it? I've got abnormous. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, folks. First one of the year. Yeah, it's a bit cold, like. Yeah, there's fish. Well, I can see the fish will probably bite me. They usually bite me. We're walking back to the beach, we've had our 30 minute swim so we should be sunburned already, I've probably got sunburned because Aloha had suntan cream probably didn't put enough on because that's my style, yeah? <laughs> Here's the circus. That's right. fable well, I'll tell you about my joke. I've got a joke. It's an old, put the thing through the hand. Do it. There's a strap he's got to put through the hand. Do it. I don't trust you walking, especially backwards in Turkey. Right. There's these managers at work, yeah? The managers at work. And... Basically, they were all thinking about leaving their job because they didn't go to university for six years to become a clown. Because that's what they get treated like at work. Or did they? Because uh, some of them did a good impersonation of Coco the Clown, you know? They come in and see me and say, hey Billy, we all talked in a weird abbreviated language. They say, Billy, have you checked out the PPCs and the DDFDs yet? I hadn't done anything, so I'm assuming I hadn't done that. I said, no. I said, no, what do you mean no? Right, I want to see you in my office ASAP to talk about your lack of R-E-S-P-C-T. I was just about to break into dance and I remembered there was at work and no fun ever happens at work. I was like, hey, listen pal, why don't you just GTF, YFP? <laughs> that means get to France. <laughs> you fucking prick. 
Anyway, that's that. We've got a lap, so digging the old ones out now. Hopefully, the audience will like them tomorrow night. So here we are at Top Kappa restaurant for the second night. The meal has arrived. Ellis has got his head in his phone as usual and spaghetti bolognese and the bread here is quite lovely and I've went for the old vegetarian curry which looks pretty good and a wee side dish there of chips and rice so there we go that's what's happening tonight at Top Kappa restaurant more delicious food awesomely diddly better than my cheese sandwiches what do you think else? hi <laughs> <laughs> and here they come, it's a tour de Didum. There he is, heavy metal kid. Then you can hear it. Sounds like country. Okay, thank you. Entrance. Okay, folks, here we are. We're back at the apartment, and Ellis is wanting half of this, so he's asked to do the video I was said I was going to do about it. Here's a wee game for you. Are you close enough? Yeah? Mm -hmm. First part of the game is which confectionery is this? Yes, I'm sure some of you think you know it right now, yes? Okay. Now, I'm going to give you more of a clue. Right? Have a look at that. Which confectionery is that? It's a giveaway, isn't it? Everyone knows the answer. Well, you watch this. <laughs> Whap! <laughs> you thought it was Twix, but apparently Twix have changed the name to Whaps. <laughs> so, Whap, Whap. <laughs> so, there you go. My son's wanting half a Whap. So, at 12 o'clock at night, Dad, we'll do that video you said you were going to do, because I'm so good to you. And I like to make the videos, you know how I frame them so well and everything, yeah? I'm the guy. You're going to break the camera? No way. Stop. Honest to God, folks, this kid is... Right. Okay, okay, no, no, no. Is your children like this? Like, it's the antithesis of everything I stand for, yeah? <laughs> and he tries, he expects me to be nice when he wants to be nice. Say, for instance, he doesn't care what speed we walk at, as long as he's got internet connection, he's in constant contact with whoever he wants to be in contact with. As soon as he loses that connection, he starts getting behind me and pushing me up the road and saying, walk fast, walk fast, because he's getting shaky, because he's going to miss five minutes of internet connection. Huh? So, nah. Okay. Yes. No, I was going to make a video call when I come back. Well, there you go, there's some reason, yeah? I knew it was internet related, basically. Because that's his whole life, isn't it? And you try and take the phone off him just to sit beside the, the table, and he can't even handle that. So anyway, he's going to throw a cushion at me now, yeah? Thank you. Can't even hit me, yeah? <laughs> asshole. I'll throw the See, that's camera at you. Me the thing. Constantly, I get abused by asshole. Yeah? So anyway, there she go. Whaps, yeah? I just got whap. Uh, give me one whap. Pardon? Give me a lap. No. Please. Okay. I think I'll have the two of them myself. I'll kill you. And this is what he gets, I'll, think, I'll kill you. As if he's going to kill me, you know? I'm his only source to waps. You wouldn't cut off your wap source, would you? Anyway, that's been that video. Thanks for watching. Cheers to now. He's going to get crumbs all over the sofa that I told him <laughs> to sit with a saucer underneath him earlier. And they don't even do that, because they don't learn, do they? They just do whatever they want to do, and leave shit where they want, and muggins will come along and pick it up. Cheers the new asshole. Okay, folks, so... I thought I'd give you a wee update before I leave the house. Basically, my gig starts in about an hour. 
I don't know if I'm ready or not. I've had two weeks to prepare, but I can't, you know, do gigs verbatim, word for word. So I've got some ideas in my head. I'm a bit nervous because my whole life basically depends on this gig, really. If I fuck this one up, then I'm probably just give up comedy and jump off a bridge. I think that's what will happen. But I've got to go for it, so I'm going to just try and enjoy it and uh, see what happens. Hopefully the crowd are a nice crowd and they'll take pity on me and laugh at the right bits. And hopefully I'll say funny shit. And... Uh, it's been quite hard, I've had my son here, I bring him with me and he tortures me relentlessly. So I've sent him away to get some food where I could um, prepare a little bit. And uh, I'd done about 10 minutes rehearsal and I said, okay, that's it, let's go. So I'm on my way now, thought I'd drop in with you. Come on, we can do this, come on. I'm just trying to do it for the greater good, not for me, just to work the magic for the universe, to be a serve, you know, to serve people, to let the magic work through you. That's my philosophy today, to take the thing outside of myself. I was watching some uh, Matthew Silver and he gave me that idea. So anyway, cheers and out, bye bye. So, basically, we've done the gig. I told them beforehand, I wanted it all set up properly and uh, it wasn't. <laughs> Plus, there was an issue in the restaurant whereby the, the gas bottle ran out so people had to wait like almost an hour for their meal. So, and all the windows were open, so there was noise coming in from outside, there was noise coming from behind me in the kitchen, and everyone was pissed off because they never got the meal in time, and then all the tables were lined up, it wasn't set up at all well for a comedy gig, and then they gave me the mic and on I went. So I don't know how long I've done, it must have been 30 minutes anyway, maybe a bit longer. But it was a very, very tough gig, but the main thing is the people enjoyed it. But I did say next time we'll set it up a lot better. Because there will be a next time, I wasn't too sure if we'll come back, but we will. So the guy was angry at his staff and the gas bottle not being good. Uh, and people getting upset, so... He never gave me a meal after, I never asked him, but I wasn't expecting it, but anyway, he sent me to the Gold Star restaurant here in Didham, and I've got some tapas, which is pretty good. That's the Gold Star, and this is the tapas. I do like some good old tapas. So I'm planning on going back to the apartment, and I'll wake the boy up, and then I will hit the tune. So my boy, I've took you to the Rock Cafe, yeah? No, 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 I took you to the Rock Cafe, yeah? Have you had a good time? <laughs> That's all I get, folks, right? Whenever I say he mimics it, <laughs> he mimics it, he mimics it. And he pulls a beer like that constantly. I'm just doing the rest of his beer. And that's what I've brought to Broadway. That's what I'm going to put up with. And he thinks I'm going to bring him here for to mount when I've got the option for leaving his mother. What would you do? I saw him. I get that constantly as well. I asked the audience tonight, is it going to improve? He's 13 years old, he's an asshole, is it going to get any better? And all the people, all the parents, they all said no. It's going to get worse. <laughs> right. I warned them before coming out tonight, I warned them, says, you better be on your best behaviour. This is a, you know, probation. So as you listen, it's like talking to that guitar over there. Aye? And we get more sense of the guitar. So it's, that's it. He thinks he can do shit without any consequences. Aye? <laughs> Look at the evil. Look at the evil in his eye. He has to. Ah! Ah! Wait. Fuck. <laughs> Aye. He knew a left hook was coming there. 
Hi. Run away, run away. That's what I've got to go with folks. So that's been the night. Uh, Ali Bar, we finished. Have you had a good time in Didham? No. Have you had a good time in Didham torturing your father? No. No. Not enough torturing going on for your liking, eh? Yeah. Why do you torture so? It's fun. I'm that's the excuse it. for everything these days, isn't it? It's fun, so I'll do what I want because it's fun. Another wee update folks, here's Sunday morning in Didham and uh, thankfully the gig went <laughs> alright last night although it was not uh, without its difficulties. As I said to you before basically the gas bottle ran out so people got their food late, there was noise everywhere from the kitchen from next door but anyway we struggled on through but we'll organise it better next time but the main thing was that people enjoyed it I'm back on the comedy horse, I believe I can do it again and now five weeks later we're going to move back here so I've got five weeks to prepare lots of stuff and get ready to kick ass so good news, happy days I don't have to leave the town in disgrace because it's a bit worrying when you say you're a comedian and then people don't laugh, they kind of doesn't even pan out too well, does it? It's not a good reputation. <laughs> anyway, here we are, Top Cafe Restaurant. So here we are, in the last few hours in Didham. Absolutely. Have you enjoyed your trip? Absolutely. Yeah, seriously, for once. Absolutely. Have you enjoyed your time in Absolutely. Didham? <sighs> but no words, folks, no words. He's, I'll tell you what he's like, he's like a record player, he's got a few words in his repertoire. You know a needle stuck in the record, he goes asshole, asshole, asshole and it flips. Dumbass, dumbass, asshole, dumb, dumbass. Then he's got a retard, then he's got, I want the most expensive one. That's basically his repertoire. That's the level of conversation you get from this guy. Asshole. You see? Asshole. He's so intelligent. Really, really stimulating stuff. So, Dillon Beach pretty nice, it's getting busy. I dare say when we come back in June to work at Top Kappa Restaurant, it's going to be chock a block. Yeah? But things are going well, we've just clarified the situation as far as rent and all this stuff goes. So, this is, will be a new home. We've got five weeks to get ready and. Uh, I maybe even get a cleaner into the house, who knows? Before we leave. Because the place needs a good clean and a paint as well. But the main thing is happy days at the beach. You've got your guys selling your cola, Fanta, Sprit, Lipton and iced tea. Asshole. And there's a big asshole lying beside me. Honest to God, you know what? It was my fault, I blame myself. Because no doubt when he was younger. 
I've just let go and called him an asshole or something like that. So he thinks it's alright to say asshole, but he's took it to the nth degree. Yeah, now he's just, that's the only word he knows. So I've only got myself to blame, really. And no matter how many times you tell him to stop doing something, and he agrees, okay, I'll stop doing it, and then I tell you, it's like the scorpion, you know, and the frog, they want to lift across the river. And the frog says, no way. And the scorpion says, why not? He says, you'll sting me. He says, why would I sting you? If you get stung, you'll fall and die, and I'll die too. So the frog trusts him. The scorpion jumps on the back, halfway across the river. What happens? Sting. They're both drowning. The frog says, what are you doing? He says, it's my character. That's this boy. Asshole. Scorpion boy. Aye. So some kind of racing on the, the boat today, it's a Turkish championship of some small boats. So anyway, we're now heading back to the apartment to get ready for the fight. As you can see, my son has excelled himself this couple of days with his level of assholeness. That's what I've got to deal with folks. It's seriously painful. Yeah. That's what he says all the time, right? Painful. It's a lucky cat off China but it doesn't work. It's supposed to do like this. And that's the view from the balcony. So we've enjoyed our stay in uh, Didham and I've gained a bit of weight here, but my son, he has been a twat, he won't be to <laughs> put the video on and show him doing this, yeah? This is staged by the way, he doesn't do this on a regular basis. I do sometimes. Do you? I don't like 20 or something. 20? Was... Alright. Well that was Wolfen, he was, now he's going to squeeze me, make sure I drop the camera and break it. <laughs> and then Say squeeze. bye bye the folks, you annoying little shit. <laughs> Thanks folks, honest to God. Hopefully one day I'll look back at this and realise what an arsehole he is. I am, I know I am. Right, good. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's been Didham. Torture. Asshole! <sighs>